Paul. Full stop. See this man, he's asking me how. Well, when a man I see on TV owns five houses and is worth how much billions, when there's so many people in this world that is hungry, you're going to ask me how. When I see bankers taking our money and doing exactly what they want with it, and when they get in trouble, we have to bail them out. You're going to ask me they what they'll do, right? And they're getting bonuses. And they're getting yeah, bonuses. Yeah, yeah. And they're getting Tell bonuses, right? They and they're getting bonuses. Right? They're getting yeah, bonuses. Yeah, hold on, hold on I day. talk 25 times every day on the same subject. When I wanted to talk to my MP, they're telling me he's on holiday. Yeah. Well, I haven't been able to afford a holiday for the last five years. Just to get to my yeah, brother's man. wedding in Jamaica, I had to go to the bank and beg them for the money. Beg them yeah. for the money that they take back double. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to tell me, I have every right in this land to speak up. I have a right to be angry. I have every right to shout if I want to shout. So just because to, I'm fed up of this. Can I ask you one more question? But you say someone grabbed your arm for talking. What the happened? The policeman grabbed my arm because he wanted to take me over there so nobody could hear me saying what I wanted to say. I didn't touch the policeman. I didn't come to him, but I got grabbed anyway. Yeah. No, for, a for a person to have an argument, you must have an argument with somebody else. Yeah. But I was the one that was grabbed. Why? Because I'm loud. Because I speak my mind. And because I'm black. Keep speaking your mind, man. I keep speaking they ain't lying. I ain't got nothing against white people. I got white people around me all the time, so it don't make no difference to me. I'm talking about fairness. This lady here could be quite fair, me and her could be friends forever. Just because she's white doesn't mean I'm a gangster. What I'm, a, what I'm against is, a, is, the, is the, the system that we live in. The unfair system that we live in. The rich are rich and the poor are poor. And there's no in-between. When there was in-between, they took the government out that was giving us a little bit of a chance. Now what they want to do, they want to suck back all that money that Labour gave us over the years. That's what they want to do. They want to suck it all back. And they want to suck it back real quick. This is Cameron's watch. Yeah. This is happening on yeah. Cameron's watch. Where was he? When the news, when the news, when the news of the world, when the news of the world was hacking, which I say is not right, they basically came out and they hit him. They brought Cameron, and Cameron had these words: "Oh, we can't have this hacking thing. I'm going to get to the bottom of it." While he's sitting in bed with the same news of the news of the world people, right on his government, the news people, they just walk through a system right here that we're not allowed to walk and yeah. even say yeah. people want to go down and clean people want to look after where they live but they're not allowed to go in there but boris is allowed to walk up here yeah. somebody yeah. starts shouting where's your broom where's your broom it quickly pr give yeah. him a broom give him yeah. a broom yeah. he gets a broom and he raises the yeah. broom up in the air yeah. a broom that has never been used yeah. Yeah. let yeah. him put on the overall and sweep down the street there and then yeah. go home and get a wage packet at minimum wage yeah, yeah. and tell me that he's going to be happy about it you see the car we drove up here? Range Rover. The Range Rover. Tons. One of the biggest gas guzzlers there is. 25 yeah. miles to the gallon. Or is it to the liter? Whatever. <laughs> it still drinks a lot. But they're entitled to drive that while my car sits at home and I have the, the, the DVL people them write me and tell me that they're going to fine me for not having my car insured even though I'm not driving it. Yeah. Now, how the hell am I supposed to insure my car when my insurance has now gone up triple? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm huh? insurance. No. no. Yeah. They don't want me to insure my car. What they want me to do, sell my car and, walk. and jump on their London Transport or jump on one of Boris's, um, Boris one of his little bikes, a Barclay Boris bike, bike. Barclay a Boris bike, yeah. right? And, 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 and build up the transport system by paying money to them to drop me someplace when I've got everybody and their mother on top of me, armpits, people coughing all over you and everything else. Right? That's what they do. This is what they're offering us in this, in this country here. And nobody can tell me about this country because I was frigging born here. I was born here. So you all know that. Just because I'm a black man doesn't mean I wasn't born here. I was born here. London is my home. Lambeth is my home. This is where I was raised. I see these children every day. I'm trying to stop children from fighting each other, killing each other. What hope do I get? I don't get no help. Instead, I get police officers wanting to grab me by the arm, pull me over to one side and tell me, don't you swear at me, don't you do this, don't you do that. Yeah. But last night when I said to him, the same officer that grabbed me, come down there with me. Me and you go down and we help this guy out of there. He wasn't moving. No. But I found my ass down there giving first aid to people. But I don't see nobody saying, oh, well done. No, I hear people telling me to shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. Don't even live in the area. Don't even live around here. I want to tell me to shut my mouth. With a broom. Right? 
Exactly, and he's got a broom in his hand. I'm gonna shove it up his ass. <laughs> hey. And I ain't afraid of no police, because I have rights too. I have rights too. Two weeks ago, they pulled me up down, down Falcon Road for riding my bike, right? And accused me of looking like somebody who just committed a robbery. Pin me up down on Falcon Road, searching me in front of the children that were around, searching me right out in the open. A 46-year-old man. Yeah. And I'm not supposed to say shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, massa. No, massa. Look in the newspaper. How is it in the newspaper? And I'm telling you all this now. I was down there last night, and it weren't just black people. Yeah. Right? It weren't just black people. You look in the friggin' newspaper. What do you see? Black people. Black people. Right? Even in the, in the, a lady, a white lady came up to me and she opened up the newspaper and showed five policemen on one guy. And he, yeah. they were holding his head like that, holding him up like that. And let me tell you this now, you know what that brought back to me? And whether you don't want to laugh or not, it brought back slavery yeah, to me. Me too. Yeah, that's right. And I know people they say, oh, take that chip off your shoulder about slavery. Forget about slavery. But I don't see nobody forgetting about the Holocaust. Yeah. yeah. Straight. Oh my God. Right? I don't see nobody forgetting about that. Remember, you know, I would rather be in Africa. Trust me. Believe me when I say I would rather be in Africa than, this, than in this country. But what have they done to Africa? Raped it. They raped it. They suck everything out of it they can. And when, 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 when they can't get their oil, they send in their soldiers. Yeah. They're sending their soldiers to stabilize that oil. Stabilize it because we want it. We want oil and that's yeah. all they care about. Not about the soldiers that are dying out there. Not about the families that have to take it. Yeah. There's yeah. moms and dads crying for their sons. There's six, 17 year old, 18 year old getting blown up. For what? For this country. For this country who ain't giving them nothing. When half of them come back, they ain't got no jobs. They ain't yeah. got no job to go to. And these are the people that are supposed to be defending us. No yeah, man. Right? They come back and they're treated like nothing. They get their little hero. They get their little hero thing, and that's it. You don't hear nothing more about them. And these are boys that are lying, there, lying their life on the line. Ain't even live life. Ain't even live life. I wanted to join the army. Yeah, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight back in the day when they were doing the Falklands. You know what they said to me? I got a criminal record. You can't go and fight. You can't represent our queen. Because you got a criminal record. But my criminal record is now 25 years old. And they still hold it over me. No matter how much work I've done with the kids, no matter how much I try and help them, no matter how much I talk to parents, I talk to parents all the time. I tell them, get your child in order. But they're not allowed to. And they're not allowed to because this government brought in this law that you can't put your hand on your child. You can't discipline your child. You're not allowed to discipline your child. Now, don't get me wrong, you know. I know there's abuse in this country. I know that people abuse their children. But don't take away the right of law-abiding citizens who want to control their children. Yeah. When you have a 17-year-old son that is six foot three and is built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> you're going to tell him he can't go out. Yeah. Now, I come in, I'm six foot one. I might have a chance. But the only chance I'm going to have is by bringing him down. But I bring him down, what happens to me? I go to jail. Yeah. I go to jail and I'm called a, a child beater. The next thing, I'm on some register. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And nobody knows my story, but as soon as they see your name on the register, well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. He's a child molester. He must have been troubling some children. Something. <laughs> something like that. Not the fact that I'm trying to help these kids. Help them every day. I, I, I know where I live. I see the kids every day. I just have to look out my window and see them down there. Smoking weed, doing nothing, no, it's not arguing, amongst, arguing amongst themselves. Yeah, I know what they're smoking. They're smoking that skunk stuff. Skunk. Skunk. And we know what the skunk does. I, I, I ain't going to powder coat you or anything. The skunk messes up their mind. It messes up their minds. It sends them more violent. Yeah. And this, and then what comes down to it? It came down, I'm down Clapham Junction, and there's boys that I know, and I'm telling them, get out of here. And they're telling me to fuck off. Because and they want, they want, they want those trainers because they ain't been able to buy those trainers because the government gives them 30 pounds, 30 pounds or something. And now, and now and they, they want to cut it, it. And they cut right? It. They, they take away, they take away their clubs, the clubs that I used to, I used to help the kids, we used to do a bit of boxing just to burn up some energy. They take away the clubs and I get some asshole telling me to shut up. How can you tell me to shut up somebody who lives in it? 
Yeah. They, they can't afford the university. Brother, yeah. please, let's not even go there. Yeah. Nine, grand nine, nine grand, but they, grand they, they say that there are ways there are ways of um, no way, of, 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 of getting this nine grand. Yeah, no well, ways. the way is go through their system, get caught up in their system, and basically that way they can pin you down any way they want. If this is You're right, in debt. No You're in debt before you've even left education. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. I'm in debt from ones of council. Why? Because and they say that they gave me um, too much benefit. Oh, yeah. They gave me, they gave, they gave me too yeah, much benefit, say. but now I have to pay it all back out of the little money that I'm supposed to be getting every week. That's just an example. It wasn't actually me; it was a friend, but still, I don't want to mention friends, <laughs> right? And that's the way that that's that's what we're living in now. So no police can tell me nothing. I find it hard to have respect for people who don't have respect for me. All right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You don't tell me to shut up. You allow me to speak. I got all the respect for you. Where were they last? Right. <laughs> Yeah. They rushed yeah. up. Did you see how many of them rushed up here when Boris was there? Yeah. 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 But a guy being kicked, yeah. Yeah. kicked to death on the corner With was me. left there on his own devices. Yeah. I saw the lady that ran out of her apartment over there, over the um, the, the party shop. Yeah. I go and get my fancy dress from that shop. I like that shop. <laughs> right? But the point being is, the lady had to run out of her home. I don't condone that. I, I, I damn anybody that wants to turn around and say, I'm condoning the violence that happened. Bullshit. I ain't condoning that. I don't say it's right to burn down your own area where you live. But what I am saying is they're crying out. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I said to him. They're man crying tried out. He tried to and if you turn around me. and you write to he your MP, to they're on holiday or your letter gets missing. Because I've written to my MP half a dozen times and I can guarantee you when I phone their office, Oh, the letter must have got mislaid. We didn't yeah, seem to have that letter. Yeah. Yeah, exactly the same. So who do I turn to? I can't turn to the police for help because they're not going to help me. They look at me. I ain't helping him. So who do I turn to? Who do the children turn to? I don't have the money to start up. A, I wanted to. I wanted to start up a youth club. I wanted to start up a youth club. They didn't want to give me the money. They didn't want to give me the money to start up the youth club because, as far as they're concerned, it's a waste of time, isn't it? It's all a waste yeah. of time. Now, now Let's stop hiding our head. Let's stop burying our head in the sand and look at the reality and oh, where you friggin' live. Now. And if you ain't they lived in it, care. don't come to me. Don't say nothing to me. Yeah, I've had black yeah. people come up to me and say to me, well, I made it, I made it. Well, la-di-da. <laughs> Good for you. I ain't got nothing against a black person making it. Or but anybody. how many of us? Uh, anybody. No, how no, many no. of us? I'm a Liverpool supporter through and through, yes, bro, right? Yes, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I mentioned that, because in all the Premiership teams, look at their management. White. To get a black man in management, there they tried John Barnes. They tried to bring John Barnes in it. He was out before you knew, because he wouldn't conform. All right. So don't be telling me that we get the opportunities. Doors get shut in our face, but they get shut in our face with a smile, yes. with a handshake. I went for an interview two years ago in a hotel to do personal training. You know what a woman said to me? Are you prepared to cut your hair? What? This is locks. Yeah. I have a belief in me, but you want me to cut my hair so I can work in a hotel. I went to the job center and I complained. I said, I think that's discrimination. What happened? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And the reason nothing happened because one, the job center didn't want to lose the opportunity of being able to send somebody else down there. Yeah. And to look good for themselves, to drop, to drop the fact that how many people are out of work. Don't be fooled by their stupid numbers you see on the TV. Those numbers that they see on the TV are for your benefit only, just to try and pacify people. But when it comes down to it, you look how many people out of work, every third person out of work in England. This is England, the mighty, powerful Britannia. We're so proud, Britannia rules the waves. Huh? But they're not leading the way, they're not leading the way on fixing what's happening here. Instead, they're too busy out wanting to bomb other people's countries, do this and do that. If they had the army just protecting London, they wouldn't need to go out there and fight. Yeah. They wouldn't need to go out there and fight. If they would find a solution to the fact that we need to, we need to conquer this energy crisis and stop relying on raping our people's land, then we wouldn't have this issue. But they don't want to spend their money on doing that. They want to spend their money. Let me tell you now, Cameron wants to grab as much as he can while he's in power. Because I don't believe he's going to be in power the next election. So he's going to grab, he's going to grab as much as he can 
right now.